Free trace of the day from Woodbine this afternoon goes as race number nine. It's our only race on the grass. It is the Toronto Cup. Now, normally the Toronto Cup is a major stepping stone towards the Breeders' Stakes, which mm -hmm. is the third jewel of the Canadian Triple Crown, but it is eligible for American breads. This year, however, all of a sudden the storyline has changed because we have the Travis Kelsey factor <laughs> uh, with uh, Swift Deliveries, now co owner of this horse, one of multiple owners and on this horse as well. I wonder what has led him to turn things around because his career started off and he, he showed some ability, but in his last two races, he's been sensational. He must be one of those horses that really didn't mature until now. But I will tell you something for those of you watching. We found out about this horse a couple of starts ago that he was going to come back as the real deal. And did he ever? He broke his maiden for fun. The next start out, he made us bite our nails a little yeah. bit, right? Because he came flying from off of the pace. Now, regardless of who owns this horse, we were using this horse in the top spot because he has been so impressive for us, for us to watch this season. The issue today, Jeff, is the turf course yep. because we did receive a lot of rain overnight through the morning as well. And now the turf is listed as yielding. No horses competing in this race have ever tried a yielding turf course before. So obviously Swift Delivery is going to take a lot of money because of his form and the fact he's coming this race off of back-to-back -back big races. But I also wonder if now he's going to get a little bit over bet because mm -hmm, he's such a, you know, a hyped horse. And there's so much media mm -hmm. following this horse. So could potentially like a Dresden Rowe, who is not that far off, could he pull off an upset here? I think he can. In fact, I've used him for the second place spot. I think you've got him yep. in there as well. This is a barn that we really respect. The Lauren Richards outfit, you get a young rider and Ryan Munger aboard. The buyers just increase every single time. The horse has won now three in a row. The worst effort from this horse is a third place effort, and that was back in 2023. So if you're looking for a spoiler, it could be Dresden Rowe. Western World, one of two in the race for Chiefs we have the Coronation Fraternity winner back in action from last season. That being Babo as that one looks to get back on track as well. Our future race of the day goes as race number nine, the Toronto Cup. Usually when you think of Travis Kelsey, you think of him playing on grass with pigskin. But today it's <laughs> going to be horses on our turf course at Woodbine for the ninth.